And Uno, just uh, could get your reaction to the news on Harry Kane staying at Spurs. Great news. Great news. Fantastic news for everybody. Did you always know, you always seem quite confident whenever speaking to you and listening to you that, that Harry was going to stay. Is that right? I think since, since uh, Harry joined us, he's been working. So this is what we value. Um, his attitude and training sessions have been great. So it's finished. Uh, Harry's going to be with us. He worked today. He's an option for tomorrow. Like I said, fantastic news for everybody. And what, what, has, what have you said to him regarding the season ahead? Just like I speak to all the players, let's get ready to, to help the team. Just finally from me, um, would there be a potential partner with him? Uh, I see Spurs are linked with Adama Traore, a player you know very well at Wolves. Oh, you know me already. I don't speak about any, any situation, any rumour, and mainly because I only speak about Spurs players. Thanks, Michael. Uh, James Savundra from TalkSport, please. No, no. Good afternoon. How happy good are afternoon. you that, that Harry has confirmed his future to the club? Because it must have been a, a weight you've been carrying on your shoulders for the last few months. We are all very happy. Uh, one of the best players in the world. Um, so we are all, all very happy, delighted to, to have one more option to, to the season ahead of us. We're here to preview tomorrow night's game. Does it offer the, the perfect opportunity for, for Harry to start as he continues to build his match fitness? Let's see. Let's see. We still have to decide. Um, we trained today. It was a fantastic training session. All the boys involved, the players that played uh, the previous game. We still have to decide uh, the starting eleven for tomorrow. You made 11 changes for the match last week for the first leg. Will you take a, a similar approach or will it slightly differ when you consider where the tie is at the moment, with Spurs one goal behind? No, it doesn't have to do with the result uh, of the first leg. It has to do with a lot of things that we have to to understand. The travelling this week is totally different. We are all together. That allows uh, uh, us to to make the different decisions because um, it's different circumstances, basically that. So we'll still, still have to, to decide. But it's a must-win game. It's a must-win game. Uh, it's a second leg and we have to decide it tomorrow. And final question from me, Nuno. Do you have any news at all on Musa Sissoko? He's in the squad, so he's available to play tomorrow. But we've not seen him featured so far this season. And there have been reports that he may be potentially moving away from Spurs. No, Musa is, is with us. He's working. All the rumours and all the situations we cannot control. But um, he didn't be option for the previous game. Um, but he's working with us. All the players that are in the pitch are options. Thanks, James. Uh, Alex Howell from BBC, please. Hi, Nuno. Um, Hello. In uh, Harry Kane's statement, he said he'll be staying uh, this summer. Has he said, has he committed to you that it'll be for the whole season? Or are you worried that this will come up again in the winter? No, I'm not worried at all. It's day by day. It's an option for tomorrow. This is the only thing. And it's my only thought. Um, try and make the, the, the best decisions to help the team tomorrow. And Harry is one of the options for tomorrow. Did he say to you that he, he's committed for the season? I'm not going to say what we speak about. He's, a, he's between us, as you understand. I'm sorry. That's no problem. Thank you. And uh, just finally, uh, ahead of tomorrow, are there any fitness issues within the squad? Yeah, we have the problem of, of Joe. He's not um, well to join us. Cameron. Um, but small issues that normal after each game. Um, but the major one is, is the absence are Joe and, and Cameron. Thank you. Thanks, Alex. Alistair Gold, please. Hi there, Nuno. Um, sorry, can I just, just, just ask you about, um, did you say Joe, Ro how's Joe Roden doing? Sorry, I might have missed that in the last one. No, Joe is not, he's not fit for tomorrow. He's better, he's much, much better, but he's not, he's not going to join us tomorrow, no.
D does it concern you at all? That obviously, um, he's one of the players that's, that's got called up for, I think, for an international call up. Will you have to be careful with that and how it's dealt with? Instead of international calls? Yeah. We have to to be aware of the situation. So um, a lot of things have been going on to the players that's going to join national teams. Um, I don't think Joe will be, but let's wait and see. For the first games, for sure, I'm, I will not be fit. Like the cases of our South American players that, due to the circumstances, there's a big issue on that also. And, and, and it looks like we've seen um, Sonny and Romero and everyone in training. It looks like that no problems at all, fully fit and joining in with everything. Yeah, like I said to you, the only is Joe and Cameron. It's fantastic. Thank you, Nina. Thanks, Ali. Uh, Dan Kilpatrick, please. Hi, Nuno. Um, Hello. There's been some reporting that uh, Tango and Dombele is asked to leave the club. Um, is, is that correct? I'm not going to answer that. OK. Is Tango, is Tango still in the, the same situation then, as far as you're concerned, not available for, for the next couple of games? For this game, because he's not on the, on the UEFA list. He's not available for tomorrow. OK. Has, has anything changed from, from the last time we spoke to you with him? No, nothing has changed. Nothing has changed, no. OK, thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Dan. Uh, Jack Pitbrook, please. Hi, Nuno. Um, Hi. How important were Daniel Levy and Fabio Paratici in keeping Harry Kane at Tottenham for this season? I think all the persons involved in the situation were, were important. All the persons. Everybody. So it's good that this issue is over and we can proceed as normal. Is it is it difficult for a player who clearly wants to leave to regain their motivation to play for their club? I think it's it's up to us and everybody, the player himself, to to get this motivation because there shouldn't be any kind of, of doubts in, in terms of money, motivation but to play by to Spurs. So, amazing club, good team, we are in the process and we need everybody involved. Thank you. Thank you, Jack. Thanks, Jack. Last couple in this section, we'll go to Fernando from R RTP Radio, please. Fernando, can you hear us? Ah, e agora, Mr. Oven? Sim, agora sim. Ah, sim, boa tarde. Mr. Antes, mais parabéns pelo arranque na, na Premier League e nesta sua, uh, nas, nesta nova tarefa uh, no, no Tottenham. Uh, Fazia-lhe duas perguntas concretas. Em função da primeira mão, o que é que espera deste passo de Ferreira no White Hart Lane? E qual é a real importância que dá à Conference League, sendo o Tottenham uma equipa habituada a um patamar muito superior. Esperamos um jogo difícil, como foi a imagem da primeira mão, foi um jogo difícil, passa uma boa equipa, uma equipa organizada. Em relação à segunda pergunta, todos os jogos, todos os jogos para nós são importantes, todos. Um, entramos sempre com a mesma intenção de competir no máximo das nossas forças e vai ser o caso amanhã. Obrigado. Muito obrigado. Thank you. And we'll go to Cristina, last one from Cristina from Ojogo, please. Olá, muito boa tarde, Nuno. Uh, Cristina Aguiar, João Jogo, como está? Uh, muito na senda da, das perguntas do, do, do Fernando Rico. Vai mudar muito a equipa, ou já se, vai mudar a equipa em relação à primeira mão, ou vai manter os miúdos que jogaram na, em Passos de Ferreira? Desculpe, mas não posso responder a essa questão. <risos> Seria dar demasiadas informações que não, que não fazem parte. Vamos apresentar uma equipa que nós consideramos um, adequada para competir uh, no momento em que estamos e, e na competição que, que queremos continuar a estar. Portanto, uma equipa forte. Muito obrigada. Muito Thank obrigado. You. Thanks, Cristina. Uh, we'll move on to the embargoed section now for 10.30pm tonight. Uh, Matt